What's going on guys? Back at it again with another Fallout 76 video. So I'm very, very, very thoroughly excited at the fact that Wastelanders is right around the corner. It's so close, literally. By the time this video goes live, it's within a couple of days, pretty much. And I could not be happier. I'm so excited for Wastelanders to come out. And you know what? I'm sure you are too if you're watching this video. But as far as this video goes, we're actually going to be getting started on the Order of Mysteries quest line, as you see in the top right corner is Into the Mystery, and I could not be happier. This is probably one of the best missions uh, consens consensus-wise within the Fallout community. People seem to enjoy this mission more than this quest line more than all the other ones, so I'm actually very excited to get this one started. But this outfit will not do. We actually have to change into another outfit, which we will be doing right now but first things first do me a huge favor if you're excited to watch this video or if you're even if you're enjoying this series in general do me a huge favor drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed because it really does help this channel grow so with that being said let's get into this all right so first things first i need to go in here do i even have it in my inventory or is it in my thing okay so i have the tattered dress already and the worn veil so i didn't even have to get in there so let's go ahead, it's gonna, look, it's gonna look absolutely ridiculous, but you know what? I'm okay with it. So tattered dress and the worn veil. Oh my god. What? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> you know what? No shame. I don't even care. Let's do this. Alright, so where... Let's remove the marker. Um. Oh, just so you guys know, there's nobody on my map, mainly because I'm in my own private server. But, uh, with that being said, where is it that we have to go? Oh, we have to go check out the mansion, alright? So let's go to Bleeding Kate, since Bleeding Kate is literally right next to there. We only have 600 caps, too, so hopefully that's enough to get us through the entire quest line. So tell me, you guys, have you guys played, um, Fallout 76, uh, specifically this quest line? If so, definitely let me know what you guys think of that quest line, the, uh, Order of Mysteries, because... Personally speaking, I really, really, really enjoy this mission or this quest line. It's probably not my favorite, contrary to uh, what the community thinks. Uh, I know the community really, really enjoys this mission but or this quest line, but I do too, but it's just not my favorite. I think ultimately one of my favorite missions is probably the Brotherhood of Steel quest line. Where do you go? The one where... Uh, I forgot what it's called, man. It's the one where you go into the glass cavern and you fight that Scorch Beast inside there. I don't know what it is about that mission, dude. That mission is just straight up badass. I don't know why. Die! Woohoo! <laughs> I look absolutely ridiculous. I love it. Shut up, Scorched! Let me go ahead and kill all these guys real quick. Ah. Uh, I really want... A replacement for this sword so this sword hold on there's somebody right there that I just saw him. hello so this sword is a revolutionary sword obviously uh, and I really do love this sword the only thing about it is it doesn't have the legendary effects that I wish it had this one has oh by the way look what I found junkies swing speed uh, plus one agility, man. That's literally a lot of people would think that's a god tier weapon. Personally, uh, I don't like being under the influence of anything, and I don't like being low health either. So bloodied is also not an option for me. But uh, so this has the vampire's effect, which I love. I want a vampire's effect for this, uh, for this weapon. But I don't want the melee damage blocking. It, or the less damage while blocking. I think I found this in a vendor for like 400 caps. So it was still a good bargain. But I wish it was the vampire's effect plus swing speed plus whatever uh, other, you know, legendary effect that I uh, could possibly get. I do want a three star, but those two are an absolute must for me. Vampire swing speed because I do have uh, this a tank, I guess, build going on for me. And that's really what I want to be doing. With this character is just basically tanking. Whoa, what's going on right now? I feel like I'm taking drugs or something. <laughs> Alright, well, I know where we're supposed to go. We're supposed to go, uh, supposed to go in there, but I kind of want to go around and kill all these Scorched really quick. So they're not going crazy and... 
stuff like that, man. Ooh, sugar bombs. What? Get away from me. So they're not like, uh, oh, one of us. Whenever I'm downstairs trying to, you know, continue this mission. Ah! That dude flew. Knock, knock. Anyone home? Look at that. I can hear him already. Like, I get it. Oh, wait. I'm supposed to come up here anyways. All right, let's go. Um... No, it's not this one. Fan mail. Oh, this one. There's one that makes me laugh. I'm going to go and actually read through this as much as possible. So, the Mistress of Mystery is my favorite hero. Want to know why all the boys want to be like Grognak? Oh, 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 time out. No, swing, damn it. There we go. All right, let's go back in there. Uh, fan mail. My favorite hero. All right, all the boys want to be like Grognak and run around uh, going Grah! and hitting things. But the mistress is smart and fast and comes up with lots of neat ideas. And anyone who tries to pick on her always loses. I bet she could beat uh, hairy old Grognak any day. <laughs> uh, I know you aren't really her, but I bet uh, I bet you like her almost as much as I as much as I do. Thank you for being so great on the radio to Love You by Karen Timms, age 7. That's cute. So the eye... Oh, well, alright. Will you leave me alone? I'm trying to read. You guys are fucking rude. Damn. <laughs> alright, let's see. The uh, Eye of Raw, Community Issues. Or Continuity. God damn it. That was the one that makes me laugh too, man. Away with you, Scorched. Anybody else? Alright, come on over here. Hey, where'd he go? Hi! Alright, let's go ahead and knock you out really quick. Can I freaking read now? Please? Let's see. Oh my god, there's somebody else. Alright, uh, I have raw continuity issues. Miss Rivers, I wanted to complain about the history of the Eye of Ra as depicted in Season 7, Episode 12, The Thieves of Thebes. This uh, episode seems to suggest that the mysteries, the mistress may not have possessed the Eye during her second expedition to Egypt. To vanquish the cult of the Unseen Seer, as I'm sure you know in Mistress of Mystery 141. A flashback shows the mistress wearing the eye at a museum gal gala. I don't even know how to say that word, man, to be honest. Uh, that must have occurred between the first and second expeditions. The fan consensus is that she obtained the eye during the first expedition. Although I personally think it among the relics she inherited from her father, the archaeologist. Your line could be taken to mean that she didn't have... It with her at the time, but that seems unlikely since she wore it or a similar brooch uh, in several panels near the beginning of the Sorcerer's whatever plague arc, which is set only a few days later. As long as a longtime fan of your work, I know how important maintaining the hi uh, history and continuity of the Mistress canon is to you, and I hope you will speak with the uh, writers. About being more careful with this in the future. Sincerely, and here it is, Kent Connolly, man. <laughs> Everybody who's played Fallout 4 knows exactly who Kent is. And man, I love Kent Connolly, man. He upgrades your uh, your uh, Silver Shroud costume too. P.S. Like many uh, fans, I was dismayed by the changes to the garb of secrets introduced in the most recent issue. While I understand the difficulty of actually fighting in a full uh, evening dress in the upcoming television show and possible future films, the full-length dress has been a staple of the mistress costume since her debut. I'm planning to organize a letter-writing <laughs> campaign about this. <laughs> and I appreciate your, so uh, your support. P.P.S. 
I'm a huge fan of your work, and I'm looking forward to your appearance at the Silver Shroud Show next year. Oh, freaking can't, dude. I swear to God, this dude is ri ridiculous. I love him to death. Miss Rivers, I read with interest your June interview in uh, Acting Age. While your conception and portrayal of the Mistress of Mystery has always been above reproach, I hope you understand that many of us feel the name mistress is an unnecessary sexualized and loaded term. Okay. <laughs> In our uh, patriarchal, uh, patriarchal uh, culture. On behalf of modern women everywhere, we hope you'll join our petition to change the name of the character to the Sister of Secrets. <laughs> Oh, God, that's funny. Alrighty. Personal journal. Uh, I am not reading all these, so I'm just going to read whichever one updates the thing. Alright, that one didn't. Alright, this one. This morning, Frederick asked me to put on my costume veil and come down to the front parlor. He said he had a surprise for me. It's incredible. Uh, his little project... Is beyond anything the writers ever dreamed of. That man really can do anything. It's no wonder I love him. My calendar for the next three months is booked solid. His hired, he's hired the best stunt actors, martial artists, military trainers, a co, 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 that, that word of experts, uh, one after another, to make sure I master every technique I'll need for the screen. I don't know who they have playing the Shroud, but the Mistress of Mystery will be ready for her debut. Hell yeah. So it says something about wearing the veil, which I'm wearing it right now, and go downstairs. Um, this way. I hear somebody. He must be dispatched. I hear more people. You know what? Let's let's just go full blown. I'm a freaking, I'm a tank anyways, and I don't care. Where where is he? He's probably upstairs, isn't he? Knock knock. I'm here to kill you. There you are. <laughs> I'll take that grenade. Oh! With what's going on today. That will definitely come in handy. So let's go downstairs. And through here. What magic. This dude seriously must have some serious money to be able to afford all of this. Open sesame, damn it. Yes, ma'am. All right. Uh, please register to create a new account. New initiate registration. Uh, begin registration. So I'm a known user. Track in instructions. Listen to the mistress. Welcome. So I gotta listen. I'll oh, use the fabricator. I think it's over here. There we go. Right in here. Hello. Can I fix my thing, please? No, that's the instructions. Let's go ahead and go back. Give right there. Veil of Secrets. Hell yeah. Do I have it on already? Did it like auto put it on? Veil of Secrets. It doesn't look very much different, does it? Oh, and just so you know, this guy, I gave him a full stack of Vanguard Marine Armor. Uh, level 50, of course. I had this for the longest time on my main character, and I finally, you know, put it on him. So this guy's pretty much stacked, with the exception of the weapon. I wish he had a better weapon. Like I said, a vampire swing speed would be ideal, would be the best. Um, and I know it's not the strongest weapon, but it's what I want for this character. I, I don't know, I, I roleplay a lot. All right, so what is it called? The initiate uh, initiate hollow tape. Right there. Hello, dear. Hi. Welcome to the Order of Mysteries. 
I'm sure you're a little nervous. I know. It's a lot to take in. But the girls wouldn't have invited you here if they didn't think you were ready. Eight years ago, I began training the girls we adopted to fight like the mistress of mystery. The hero I played for all those years on the radio. Does that sound a little silly? I suppose it did to me, too, at first. But the world needs the mistress. It needs people with the strength to face the darkness, the will to survive against any odds. It needs you. It's time for you to join our sisterhood. The Order of the Mistresses of Mystery. You won't have to walk this path alone. For the next few months, you'll be training with one of your sisters. If you have someone you want to work with, that's fine. If not, Cryptos will assign you a mentor. And as soon as I get back, we'll sit down for tea. Just the two of us. I promise. Cool. So we're supposed to go uh, look at the computer that was right there in the front. But I've actually never looked around. Oh, this is like a separate exit. That's pretty cool. But for now, let's go ahead and get on here and talk to Chris, uh, Christos, Cryptos, so that we can get a new mentor. All right, so mission board maybe? No. Database queries. There we go. Who were we assigned? Mentor, Mistress Natasha Hunt. So, their last location is Lewisburg. Notes, your mentor is currently on a mission. You may wait for her or meet her in the field and assist her in completing her mission. Oh, okay. Let's go find Miss Natasha Hunt in Lewisburg. Where's Lewisburg again? Yeah, I thought so right there. Let's go. Luckily, it's not too far from us. This is going to be an expensive quest line, isn't it? So, this is kind of a long... Um, quest line it's got multiple parts to it so worst case scenario I might have to cut this into two pieces but I'm going to try to basically just make one video and have the entire you know mistress of mystery uh, quest line in one video but of course we'll see we'll come through that hurdle once we get to it but for now obviously we're we're the goal is to make two videos, but if we can cram it all without rushing, of course, to into one video, that'll be probably the most optimal thing. But, again, we'll see. Alrighty. Miss Natasha Hunt. There are you. So my main character, dude. I'm getting, it's getting harder and harder for me to find plans that I don't know for that guy. Dude, I completely destroyed him. But I definitely needed those caps. No. Oh, stop it. You really think you can beat me, guy? See, if I had, if I had the swing speed, that would be like amazing. Oh, God, I didn't mean to jump. Goodbye. Dude, he literally just blew up. I'll take that. Uh, Honestly, I don't really need any of that. I'll take that bobby pin, though. And that one. Alright. Miss Natasha Hunt should be around here somewhere. I remember she was hiding behind something. Goodbye. Dude, these guys literally blow up, dude absolutely disgusting no you leave that freaking robot alone Kill. 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 I got you any day oh actually I think this is it there she is you what do you want you really think you can fight me bro all right we'll take that and that and I already have a tattered dress as wonderfully displayed right here <laughs> Alright, so now we gotta listen to her holotape, I think, right? Lewisburg? Good morning. I'm sorry to drop this off you. Tiana hasn't reported in from her last mission. Olivia and I are heading out to investigate. 
I have a lead on a raider scouting party. I need you to follow up on it. Standard protocol. Secure the location. Look for Tony. <coughs> Good morning. What? I'm sorry to drop this off here. Why did it start over? Diana hasn't reported in from her last <coughs> Olivia and I are heading out to investigate. I have a lead on a raider scouting party. I need you to follow up on it. Standard protocol. Secure the location. Look for signs of raider activity and report back to the manor. Be careful, dear. I can't bear to lose anything. Don't worry. She's in a better place now. Ow. Ow. Dude, I'm like... They haven't even done anything to me. Die! Alright. So, where is it that we gotta go now? Uh, search... For Raiders in Lewisburg. Actually, I think I remember where it's at. It's on the roof. But I have to find the stairs that are around the corner. And then... Wait, no, this... It was this one. Raiders! I'm here to say hello. Can I join your crew? No? Oh, okay. Oops. I kind of wanted to read it. Uh, and I don't remember which note it was. Damn it. Oh, oh well. All right, let's go back to uh, Riverside Manor. And report to Cryptos. The, that was the thumbnail to one of my favorite Fallout 76 videos I've ever made. It was the 4th of July video. And that's literally, it was just literally me just acting stupid, man. And I loved it, man. It was, it was, I had a lot of fun. Even though it was a kind of short video, I had a ton of fun filming it, dude. And editing it, dude. I was literally laughing while I was editing that video. It's actually one of my top videos. You guys can probably find it. Just by going to my channel and seeing my top my top videos or whatever. It's pretty funny. I think so at least. But if you know anything about me, I'm pretty ridiculous, so. But it's all good though, I mean because I really enjoy being myself, I guess. Alright, let's go. Cryptos! Oh, Cryptos, I'm coming. Knock, knock. Thank you. It le looks like it's finally starting. Hi. All right, so log in Natasha Hunt. No, not that. Where is this? Administrative actions, maybe? Register as mentor. Okay. I have to authorize promotion for Mistress of Mystery to unknown user. And just like that, I have been promoted. Authorize access? Can I authorize access too? I don't think I'm ready for this. No, I'm not ready for that. All right, so let's go ahead and go all the way back. And I got to log in as myself now. So unknown user. Uh, authenticated garb of mysteries done. Continue. Um, all right, listen to the no novice holotape. Right there. Congratulations, dear. I'm sorry I can't be with you today. But I'm sure the other girls can walk you through your vows. Things have been difficult for us of late. In eight years, we only lost one member of our family. In the past three months, we've lost seven. Damn. All to raider ambushes. I've asked Eve to accelerate our training program. If the worst should happen, we need everyone. In order to become a full member of the Order, you will need to master the tools of the Mistress of Mysteries. Sword, Shot, and Shadow. Work with Eve and your mentor. When the 
time comes to prove yourself, Cryptos has the details. Alrighty. Uh, earn the Phantom device. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, master the tools of the Mistress of Mystery. So I think I have to log in and find out exactly where it is, right? No? Hold on. What's it telling me to do? Yeah, it's telling me to get on here. So... Database queries. No, that's not it. I thought that was it. Alright, uh, Order of Mysteries Handbook? Now, where is it? Mission reports? Um... Did I just get... I just got on... Hold on, did it give me new quests? Is that what happened? It doesn't look like it. Yeah, no, all this stuff is for other things. I have to get on here. Alright, let me let me go ahead and click on everything. Oh, there we go. That was it's right here the whole time. So Phantom Device. Let's go ahead and click on that so we know how to do that. The Blade of Bastet. Of course, and the voice of Set. Awesome. So now I need to get all three of those things. So let's go ahead and Okay, so I gotta listen to all three of these hollow tapes, it looks like. Where's the okay, so we'll start with the blade of pastet since it's right here. The mistress of mystery relied upon her speed, agility, and training in the martial arts, including the art of the sword. For many years, her favorite weapon was the blade of bastet, a legendary sword passed down from hero to hero across the age. Even Skyrim? The time has come for First, you'll need to locate a sword with historic significance. That symbolism matters. You'll treat it with respect. Cryptos should have some links. Then you'll need to pick up one of Frederick's swing analyzers and attach it to your sword. The analyzer will collect data on your stance and swing as you wield it against different foes. Once the analyzer has finished its work, Frederick should be able to hone your sword into a blade worthy of the Okay. All right, let's go ahead and listen to the other two now. Uh, we listened to the Blade of Bastet, so let's listen to First the Phantom form, device now. The Mistress of Mystery was a master of stealth, subterfuge, and infiltration. Your own talent and training are essential. We'll do that as we walk but outside. There were times when even the Mistress needed more. Part smoke bomb. Part cloaking field. The phantom device threw her foes into disarray while she made her most daring escapes. Frederick has found a way to make a real phantom device, but it requires two components that we have in short supply. Search Cryptos for leads on stealth boys and hallucinogen gas. Use your training to infiltrate your target, secure the items, and return them to the production facility. Yes, ma'am. And be careful. All right, we got one more, and that is the voice of Set. The mistress of mystery is not a sniper. She is not the silver shroud leaping into the fray with his silver submachine gun blazing. But <laughs> she does carry a pistol. It is a tool, like any other, to be used when the situation requires it. The mistress's iconic revolver was the voice of Set. It had a variety of powers. Powers? To be frank, it did whatever the writers needed it to do. I received more than a few letters about that. From Kent. <laughs> but for us, that variety is essential. We need tools capable of meeting any challenge. Your mission is to help expand our options. Cryptos has leads on a number of prototype weapons that were in development before the war. You will be assigned to retrieve one of them. Bring the plans to Frederick and see what he can make of it. He never fails to amaze me. 
Awesome. <clears throat> All right, so first things first, I think I want to go... Well, you know what? Let's see what's closer. Do I have to get the swing analyzer now or do I have to get Grand Sword first? I don't remember. All right, so let's go over here and locate the Hallus, uh, hallucinogen gas. You know, while we're there, we're probably going to start, unless I already know it. Minor Miracles. Okay, yeah, I already know the mission. Because that one, uh, it's okay. it's kind of a pain in the ass, man, because you need like a bunch of... Uh, crafting materials like screws and stuff to build the the power armor that comes with that mission it's a really good power armor man uh it's actually what i use on my main character i don't use power armor on my main character but i have the uh assisted servo uh, servos chest piece which increases your strength and then i have both legs on my main character's uh excavator power armor that has calibrated uh shocks so together those two i think they give me like like 200 or something like that carry weight i'm just guessing it's definitely over 100 because each leg is 50 plus the calibrated or the uh, assisted servos or whatever both of those together they do some they give you a lot of carry weight and this is generally what i use for when i'm over encumbered oh god we got mr gutsies I can't run. Oh God, not just a. F oh God. I might not. I might not even fight this guy, to be honest. Let's see. Let's see what this does. Almost nothing. Run. Oh, I'm doing. I'm doing good. Haha. -ha. Run before you explode. Let's just wait here. I hate it when it does that, man. It like literally makes you think that it's not going to explode, but it really does. It does. We'll take the fusion core and the aluminum. All right, let's go. At least now I know I can take on, uh, ass uh not assaultrons, uh, Sentry bots. I almost forgot what it was called for a second. Tomato, tomato, you know. That's always been like the one thing about this game that I don't like. The loading screens take forever, dude. Alright, let's go. Let's go ahead and uh, samurai... <laughs> Oh, I thought you did. Looks like there's a robo brain around here somewhere. Thank you, thank you. Is it in here? Wait, where is it at? Alright, while we're here, let's go ahead and pick up this key. And that. Alright, where is this? Definitely take the disease cure. In here, maybe? Nope. Oh, it's in here. Oh, I don't have lockpick. Do I have lockpick? No, I don't even have it. <laughs> Crap. Um, can I potentially hack it? All right, let me take this dude out real quick if I'm going to be hacking a computer. Yes, I do take you for a fool. Let's go. Up, oh, up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh. All right, come on. Honestly, I always play the guessing game and looks like it worked out just fine. Disengage lock. Thank you. Thank you. There we go. Awesome. So now I just need a stealth boy. The stealth boy is in that one raider camp, I think. So that's the historic sword. That's the EMP. There we go. The stealth boy is right there. So let's go to mountain, whatever the hell it's called. And then we'll just run there. We'll do this one first because it's going to be the easiest. Um, and then after that, we'll go get Grant's sword. And then we'll do... Actually, you know what? After that, we'll go get uh, 
the EMP thing or whatever. Because I think we have to swing at a certain amount of enemy, like different enemy types or whatever with the, the new sword before we can actually like get the Blade of Bastet. It's basically like it learns your fighting style or, or something like that. It's a pretty cool sword and actually if I had if if I had to guess I think it's probably one of the hardest hitting swords in the game. All right, let's go. I think if I remember correctly this raider camp is actually empty too. Let's go. Actually, I'm wrong. I can see freaking scorched from here. Luckily it's just scorched though. Haya! Ouch! You guys are funny. You guys are funny people. You know that? I'll definitely take that stim pack though. No, there we go. Let's go ahead and take all these guys out before they before they take me out. I really wish I had the serrated blade for this, but I don't. All right. Oh, I got a lock pick. Oh shucks. There we go. Not bad. Junkies later. Letter. Uh, that I don't think has anything to do with this mission, or maybe it does. I don't know. Plan rug. Ooh. Let's go ahead and use that really quick. Very nice. All right. So we got both of the stuff that we need to craft the thing or whatever. So let's come over here to Sugar Grove. And while we're here, get that EMP thing. That was my, that's my main character, dude. That was like the first picture I've ever took. Like, I think I was like level 13 or something. And by that point, I already discovered how to use the photo mode. So I went back and pretended like I was fresh out the vault. <laughs> so I took everything off. All my, my, my outfit, my armor and everything was pretty funny. I didn't have a replacement under armor yet. Like right now I'm using a shielded uh, forest under armor on my main character. Um, mainly because, I mean, he's pretty OP, man. He's a sniper, though. So DPS-wise, he's nothing to write home about, but he hits hard. Die, you robot! Oh, you want to hit me? You want to hit me, buddy? Oh, you want to hit me, too? What's up? What's up? Oh, you're cute. Dude, this guy is fun. He's fun as hell, dude. Like, my main character, he cannot take hits, dude. Like, he's a sniper, so his endurance is really, really, like, small. Whereas this guy's endurance is really, really high, so he's got, like, high hit points or whatever. Not to mention, he's got, like, a bunch of damage resistant stuff, too. So he's, like, he's really strong. Come on, buddy. I see you. Judo chop! That's it? That's all you guys got? I guess so. All right, we're here for the EMP thing, right? Um, it's not over here. It's gonna be over here somewhere. Oh God. I can't tell if I'm doing anything or not. Okay, he is dying. There we go. Finally. Um, over here maybe? I'll come back to you. Ow. Where? It is here, right? Yeah. Alright, let's go. Let's take this dude out before he ends up taking me out. Go ahead and clear this out, as a matter of fact, while we're here. Die, Robo Brain. Die. Oh, God. Do this. I really wish this had swing speed. That would make this the perfect weapon, in my opinion. 
All right, uh, locate the research program. Where would I find it though? It's not actually marking it. Oh god, it's an assaultron. Contract or er, contact? Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Don't hit me with that! Damn it! I'm scared. All right, good. Woo! I'll take that though, and that. All right, let me get out of the way just in case he explodes, which I'm pretty sure he will. Mmm. All right, that's just the bathroom. Don't need dirty army fatigues. I've been thinking about redoing my camp too. I don't know if you guys would be interesting, uh, interested in me doing a like a camp build video. I don't know. I think that'll be pretty fun to do. But let's uh let's go ahead and click through this. I don't remember ever doing any of this. But let's go ahead and click through all this just in case. Free states. Wait, there was another entry. Nope. All right, that's an error, so no, that's nothing. I know there's another computer over here. Let's see if this one does anything. Oh, these are the same things, huh? I don't know. I really don't know. Oh, hello. Didn't see you there. Analysis terminal? Uh, Project Siphon. Now oh, this is, this is for this actually, for this mission. All right. So I think we kind of skipped <laughs> a part of this mission. We we're supposed to get that later on. Come on, man. I don't remember where it's at. Locate the EMP research program. Unless it's uh, in that room. From the back side. Hold on, let me check in here real quick. It's gotta be. That's one of my favorite pictures I've ever taken. It's literally a Mirelor king and queen fighting against a Scorch Beast. Not the queen, just the regular Scorch Beast, but it's pretty badass nonetheless. It's pretty freaking awesome. Any day loading screen. All right. So let's go out this way. And I know there's a back way that we can go. Maybe it's in there. In here, maybe? Die. So it's not in here, but I will take those sugar bombs. Because I know there's a back door. Oh, it's right here. Let me take out this thing out real quick. There we go. Actually, that one too, before it ends up taking me out while I'm trying to hack a damn terminal. Requires terminal. Luckily, it doesn't require anything besides a zero. All right, let's go ahead and start poking things. Really? I don't 
want to fight you. But I do want to kill you. There we go. Remote control door. Unlock door. There we go. Let's go. Maybe it is back here. I don't know. We'll see. We shall find out. But it says it's in here somewhere, so... I don't know. Maybe I'm the one that's wrong. Ha! <laughs> Alright. Nope. See, that requires a freaking key. Damn it! Did it show that it was in here, though? I don't remember. All right, well, for now, I guess we can go grab uh, the uh, the sword. We'll go grab the sword, and we'll come back here later. For some reason, I can't find the area. So, And it is, it is actually like 15 minutes till we get to the one-hour mark, and we're probably like halfway through the, the quest line. So does definitely look like we're going to have to do this in two separate parts. So let's go ahead and fast travel to the White Springs golf club and then we'll go north into that building where the sword is and then we'll just continue the you know the mission in the next video that was a cool my favorite location is actually right here at the belching betty this place is cool where the uh fire breathers go to train basically and fight against the Scorched and all that stuff. Fire Breathers were pretty cool. What's you guys' favorite faction? Just out of curiosity. If I had to guess my favorite... Or if I had to say my favorite faction... In this game, so my favorite faction in this game would probably have to be probably the Brotherhood, man. They're just so cool, dude, like all the way around. Normally, I like things like the Responders and stuff like that, but the Responders are they're kind of boring in this game. Like, maybe they would have been a little bit better if there was actual NPCs, but I just couldn't get attracted to the responders, man. They were just kind of bland. But in Fallout 4, my favorite was actually, uh... Wait a minute. Did I pass it? I did. Oh, it's in that big building. I thought I was going to go to that one. But yeah, in Fallout 4, my favorite is actually the Minutemen. I don't know, something about being the Minutemen General just makes me happy. <laughs> Let's go ahead and kill this dude real quick. Kill you. Kill you. There's a robot around here with the key. There you are. Oh, hello. Ah, where are you? There you are. Do you have money? No, because you're freaking cheap. Alright, let's see, uh, staff access, display case. Oh, wait, I didn't even open the door. May I get that sword, please? There we go, Grant Saber. Alright, let's go back and install it so that we can actually start swiping at people. I can hear bad guys. I probably shouldn't be. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, it let me through. Or it let me fast travel anyways. Because I didn't get hit mainly. Look at that sexy man right there. That was my first actual camp that I built. I loved, I loved that camp. It was nice as hell. That was way back when the game first started, basically. It was a cheap base to make too, or a cheap camp or whatever. It's all wood, basically. No expensive materials or anything. 
I stayed at that location for so long as well, man. Alrighty. I think now we have the capabilities to make one for sure, possibly two, but first things first. Well, it's going to be like one and a half because the the Blade of Bastet actually requires um, you to do like some side things really quick, like kill certain amount of bad guys before, like different enemies or whatever, before you can actually craft it because it learns... Your fighting style, basically. Welcome, novice. Stop calling me a novice. I'm not a novice. I'm an OG, triple OG. All right, so fabrication services. Uh, what is it that we can make? We can make the phantom device, which is probably the least cool thing to do. All right, and then the swing analyzer. All right. I can't make the blade of Bastet yet, huh? All right, so attach. Where's the? There it is. Modify? Do I have to modify or? I have a bunch of random stuff in here, don't I? Where's Grand Saber? There it is. Swing analyzer. All right, you know what? Let's put this. What is this? Great Mentats? Why do I have Great Mentats on here? We'll put my vampire sword right there, and we'll put this as Grant Saber. And then let's go kill six different enemy types. Oh, wait, let's just fast travel straight up. Wait, you know what? There is one enemy type. Right here. That's one. Awesome. Let's just go ahead and fast travel straight outside. Whoa. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and fast travel straight outside. Man, you know what? It's probably faster if I even run outside. <laughs> it was. Cannot fast travel at this time. You don't say. I'm already in a loading screen, guy. Any day now, game. Splunker. Gas man, teach the meat, cryptid, halo. You know, I haven't even been to the location ever since I got that code. Alright, so maybe the mole rats have spawned around the corner. Probably not. No, they didn't. But I think they spawned by the garage that's over here too though. Maybe? Potentially? Probably? No? Alright. Well, let's go find uh, different enemies then. Literally anything works. I don't even care what it is, to be honest. We got five more to go. Where are we? Dude, I hate it when it's foggy because I can't see anything. Um. Oh, speaking of more rats. Alright, that's two. All right, yeah, let's go into uh, New Gab or whatever it's called. There's a, always a bunch of different enemies over here. So what do we have left? We have four left. Are they chasing me? They are. I think there's uh, super mutants right over here. And if they're not right here, they're definitely up there in Somersville. Oh, speaking of which, there's one right there. <laughs> I thought I could reach. Nope. 
Hello. Oh. There we go. So that should be three. Three more to go. You know where? Vault 76 is a free fast travel and it always has... Um, what are they called? It always has um. the little tiny robots. I forgot what they're called. They're so annoying too. <laughs> the um, crap. Don't remember what it's called. I suppose we'll find out literally right now. Oh yeah, and then that little cottage always has um. They always have uh, ticks. So that's one right there. Now let's come over here and get a tick. And if we're lucky, we'll probably get like a a rad stag or something like that around here. Hopefully nobody killed the, these ticks. Nope, I can hear them crawling around like little maniacs. Let's kill that guy. Oh. Wait, where'd he go? There he is. Did that one register or no? Okay, there we go. Alright, we just need one more. Any kind of thing that we haven't met yet. Oh, you know what? Um, now that I think about it, White Spring always has feral ghouls. Like, always. So, this was probably the fastest I've ever done this. I guess it kind of paid off knowing the game. Just the fact that I know the game, it actually kind of paid off because I kind of... I remember the first time I did it, I literally just ran around until I found six different types of enemies. It took me like 30 minutes just doing that by itself. And then now it's not even five minutes and I'm already pretty much going to make the Blade of Bastet. I do wish we were able to keep the uh, Grant Sword just so that we can have two unique weapons. But, oh well. All right, let's go ahead and turn around and go kill us a Pharrell ghoul. There you are. I see you, homie. And judo chop. Oh, damn, this guy's strong. Die. Luckily, I'm stronger, but I don't have my... All right, good. He's dead. That should, that should be the last one. Right? There we go. Alright, so now I think we have to go back and actually craft this. Yep, use the fabricator. Alright, let's go ahead and do that. And then right after we're done with that, uh, we're pretty much going to call it a video right now. Uh, after we craft the Blade of Bastet, and then we'll continue on with this series or with this quest line in the next video. But for now, we're definitely going to craft this Blade of Bastet because it's actually pretty strong. I actually want to take a look at the Grant Sword and the Blade of Bastet uh, one after another just to see the stats, I guess. How much, if, how much, if any, did it improve? Alrighty. But I'll do that once we get inside, though. And let's go. Watch me forget. Look at how pretty she looks up there. I look prettier though. <laughs> Let's go ahead and put this bad boy away. 
through the lasers. This guy must have some serious money if he can afford to make this entire base. All right, but first things first, before I actually get in there and use the fabricator, I want to see Grant's saber. All right, so collects data about your combat, stance and swing, swing analyzer attachment mod does 36, medium swing speed 1.248. Now let's see what this does. All right, Blade of Bastet, increased armor penetration. It doesn't have any mods. 25, but I can always put that up higher. 153, that's crazy. Same weight, increased value, still medium swing speed. I think I can actually craft a higher version of this so this would be edged blade of past debt i can but i need adhesive and copper damn it i need seven adhesive and seven copper well i'm gonna be keeping this for a while uh let's see this does 153 160 well for now this is stronger but once i upgrade the blade of past debt, it's gonna be significantly stronger all right, but that's going to definitely do it for this video. We're definitely going to continue on uh, with this quest line in the next video. And we'll, it's probably going to be a lengthy one because that's probably going to be the last video of Fallout 76 before Wastelanders. Um, and I, I think we're going to finish up this uh, quest line in that video for sure. No matter how long it is, even if it's two hours long, we're definitely going to finish this quest line in that video. So if you're excited for that... Do me a huge favor, drop a huge like on this video, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed, and I'll definitely catch you guys in the next video. Deuces.